would now like to uh, introduce Charles, Charles Chevalier, who is the uh, director of all the Bordeaux wine estates and has been since uh, 94. Um, under his uh, uh, directorship, we've seen uh, an increase in quality, but also an increase in consistency uh, across the vineyards uh, in Bordeaux. Um, it's very exciting to be able to taste the Duar Millon with you uh, this morning, Charles, and in particular in the 2010, because the 2010 has been considered by many to be uh, one of the best vintages uh, in Bordeaux in the last decade. Um, just a question at the beginning, if I may, Duar Millon and Lafitte are next door to each other. They're geographically very close. Exactly. They have very strong historical links also. Um, how, how can you explain to us why there is a difference between these two wines when they are so closely linked? That's a, <clears throat> a difficult question, but in, in fact, a part of the answer is coming from the, the official classification of the wine in 1855, when the, the people create this classification and say that Lafitte is the first growth and Du Armidon is the fourth growth. And, uh, even if the people are the same to work with the same mm. technique and the same method of work and so on, in the vineyard, in the cellar and so on, the, the difference of the wine, uh, not in the quality but in the style of the, mm -hmm. of the wine, is year by year all the time. Uh, why? The first explanation I have is coming from the terroir by itself. The quality of soil, if you make some uh, chemical analysis of the soil or physical analysis, you find more or less the same things. But the exposure is not the same. Lafitte is more southeast exposure, taking the sunshine in, in the morning and all the day. Duar Milon is more northwest exposure. And uh, so there is some tiny difference in the temperature, in the maturity of the grapes. And at the time of the harvest, of course, uh, a very important part of the job is to go in the, in the field and taste the grapes for each block separately and decide when we have to pick mm -hmm. uh, regarding about the, the, the maturity, the taste of the, of the grapes and so on. And that makes some tiny difference, but we found that uh, some years there is a six days difference between the right. picking of Duar and the picking of Lafitte. Uh, Lafitte is coming earlier every, every year. Uh, and this difference, if you don't, uh, if you are not able to, 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 to manage this difference, you, you create something, an average wine. Uh, okay. To find the, 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 the subtlety of the wine, the complexity of the wine, you have to, to respect this terroir and each block of the, of the, of the soil and the, and the terroir. That's very, very interesting. 2010, hmm? as we said earlier, was a spectacular vintage in Bordeaux. Why was the 2010 so special? I want to say that it's uh, one of the spectacular yes. uh, uh, vintage in the decade mm. because we, we had from 2000 to 2010 uh, something quite unbelievable in mm. the story where all the vintage are uh, good or very good or exceptional. <laughs> in fact, 2010, yes, is, uh, the, the, the beginning was uh, quite a bit difficult uh, with um, uh, cold weather and the time of, of the flowering and, uh, and so on. But after that, in July and August and September, very nice uh, weather, very complete maturity. And uh, at the time of the harvest, we are able to, to wait for the complete maturity each block of the, of the vineyard. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference with uh, 2009, for example, uh, where it was a uh, hot vintage and uh, with uh, also a complete maturity, but more more sweety and, and so on. The, uh, 2010 is more classic wine yeah. uh, with the, the real respect of what is a Cabernet Sauvignon from Poyac. Uh, in the blend of this wine, it's a uh, two-third Cabernet Sauvignon, one-third Merlot. Uh, and it's, uh, for me, the, the the, the, the right balance with the, um, just a little part of oak uh, coming from the, from the cask uh, from our estate, mm. um, but not too much because we don't like the, 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 the oaky flavors of the, of the wine. We have to respect the wine by itself. <coughs> mm -hmm. More. And all the casks, um, all, all, all the casks that you use within all the DBR estates are made Exactly. In your own cooperage. Exactly. Oh, we have yeah. this opportunity to have our own cooperage company uh, close to Duar Milon mm -hmm. and uh, where we, we built every year uh, more or less 2,400 casks a year Amazing. for all the, the Bordelais estate, mm -hmm. but also for uh, a part of uh, Los Vascos and Caro and Chateau Dossier. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yes, the majority yeah. of uh, 
the barrels for the other estates came mm -hmm. also come from, from, from the cooperage. And does this affect the, the, the style of Lafitte? Would you say this allows you to, you to know, control? Uh, we, we, we know by uh, traditionally uh, and by experience, we know that our wines are more uh, respect in the, in the wood if the, the toasting of the cask is very light. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we don't uh, we don't like to have the, the, the expression of the wood by itself, mm -hmm. and uh, the the wine has to be the flavor of the wine has to be mm -hmm. the more uh, expressive component. Okay. okay. And uh, yes, we use, but we have some uh, tiny difference between the, the the toasting of the cask for Rioseco or for Duarmilon or for Lafitte or for Rosier. Okay. And you can control that, of course, because exactly. it's your yes. your cooperage. Talk us through the uh, 2010. 2010, uh, for me, we were talking with the, uh, at what time we have to drink the, mm. uh, the wine. Of course, 2010 is young, uh, but there is a, a possibility, of course, to, to age for a long time. Why not? But also, with the, 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 the method to, to, to work and to, uh, to have the expression of what is the tannic part with the, lot of, uh, the total maturity of the, of the grapes, we can have something very drinkable uh, earlier. Uh, after that, it depends on everybody to, to mm, say, well, I taste. prefer mm -hmm. young wines or I prefer older mm -hmm. wines. Mm -hmm. There is the possibility to, to, to be drunk uh, at uh, any time, as, we, as you like. I have to say, this is uh, a remarkably accessible, this wine. For such yeah. a young wine, such a powerful vintage, mm -hmm. uh, it is, uh, I mean, you can drink it quite happily now. Uh, yeah. You can, you can yeah. really start drinking it now. How long would you say this wine could go? How long will it last? Well, personally, uh, I find that the, the Duar Milan, uh, I prefer to, to have some wines 10, 10, 12 years. Okay. I think it's uh, for me that's uh, where you have the, the good expression mm -hmm. of, the, of the wine. You know, Cabernet Sauvignon is the varietal where it's not a very uh, easy, expressive at the beginning okay. uh, to, to wait. As Diane say, was saying uh, with the, the Saint Emilion, the Merlot is very expressive, mm -hmm. very young. Mm -hmm. uh, in this part, in, in Duar Milon, in this vintage, there is one third of uh, Merlot. Quite often, there is only 20%. Okay, oh, that's interesting. <coughs> it's a very deep color, it's very dense, yeah. uh, very dense color to the wine. That the, 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 the control of the maturity, and when, we, when you pick the grapes with the total maturity, of course, you have quite easily the, 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 the right color mm -hmm. of, the, of the wine. And what would you recommend serving this wine with? What's your, pre what's your favorite dish to have with a Duar Mignon? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of possibilities. But uh, traditionally, uh, and, uh, and by real pleasure, uh, a piece of lamb, yes, mm -hmm. of course, with the Poyac is very classic, mm -hmm. but also uh, a good uh, entrecote bordelaise mm -hmm. with some uh, sep mushrooms in uh, October. Not so bad. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Super. Thank you. Thank you very much, Charles.